Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Vaughn. I pastor the Tecumseh and the Belleville churches. And I want to tell you a story about when I was a little boy. Some of the, one of the things that I used to do. We had a, a puppy dog and this puppy dog was a mama dog and she was going to have some puppies. And oh, we couldn't wait for those puppies to be born. We would go out every day and we would love on the mama dog and tell her what a good mother she was going to be and how we wanted to love on her puppies and play with her puppies. And the time just always seemed like it went by so slow. And one day the time came for her to have her puppies. And so my mama and my grandma and I, we all, all went out there and we were watching her have her puppies and oh, they were so cute. They were just so little bitty teeny tiny puppies and you could hold them in your hands and they were just so soft and just so cuddly. And we just, just loved those puppies. And as puppies do, they began to grow. They started growing from day to day and they got bigger and bigger and their fur grew a little bit more and they were so soft and they were fluffy and we just loved to feel how soft they were. And we would go out there every day and we would love on those puppies and we would play with them and we would hold them. And, you know, puppies, they start getting fat and they start grunting they, uh, 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 when you hold them. And we love to hear those puppies grunt and, and kind of squeal sometimes when when they would uh, miss their mama. And so it was just a lot of fun playing with those puppies. And one day I had some friends come over and we were going to go and see the puppies. So we went out there to the barn where the mama, pup, mama dog was. And we went in there and we started loving on the mama dog to let her know that we weren't going to hurt her puppies. And, and then we decided we were going to play with the puppies. So we picked them up. And by this time they were toddling around, waddling around. Sometimes they'd waddle and they would fall over and this way or that way. And we just thought it was so funny to watch those puppies. And we would pick them up and feel how soft and fluffy they were getting and how fat they were. And we'd look in their little faces and they'd stick their little tongues out and lick their nose and they would lick us. And it was just a, a lot of fun to be with those puppies. Well, we decided since it was so funny to see them kind of fall over and wobble and all of that, we decided that we would see what, what would happen if we would just kind of roll them over ourselves. So we'd hold the puppies like this and they would be crossways in our hands and we would just give them a little roll and they would roll over once or twice and they'd get up and they'd come running right back to us, waddling back to us. And we did that for a while. And after a while, that just, that wasn't quite enough. So we decided, let's see if we can roll them a little farther. So we rolled them, maybe and they'd roll over three or four times. And, oh, it was so much fun. The puppies were having so much fun. They'd get up and they'd run back to us. And we'd pick them up and love on them some more. And then we'd roll them again. And now there were about eight puppies. And so we weren't doing this with just three or four. There was my, myself and my two friends. And we would do this with all the puppies. So they would all get in on the fun, right? And so we decided after a while, I wonder what would happen if we would roll them from here where we are all the way up against the, the barn. We were outside in the grass and it was soft and we thought it was just a whole lot of fun. So we took those puppies and we held them like this and we would give them a good roll and they would roll up against the barn and they would get up and come running back for more and we'd pick another puppy and we'd roll that up against the barn. And it was easy to tell them apart because they were different colors and different, uh, different um, uh, uh, patterns of colors. And so we knew which ones we were rolling and which ones we'd rolled and which ones we hadn't. And we just, we were using all of them and just giving them all a good time, so we thought. Until my mother and my grandma came out and they found us rolling the puppies up against the side of the barn. They said, Victor, what are you doing? And I said, we're rolling the puppies up against the barn. They're having a good time. They just love it. And Mama said, no, don't do that. You could hurt the puppies. And that was like a terrible thought to us. We could hurt the puppies. We didn't want to hurt the puppies. We were just having fun with them. We thought that they were having a good time. We were having a good time. And they probably were. And we were. 
but we didn't realize that we could hurt those puppies. And when we realized that that was possible, that we could hurt those puppies, we were so sorry. And you know what? Sin is kind of like that. Sin, when you start out in the beginning, can be fun. And the Bible says that there are pleasures to sin. Sin can be fun. But you know what? That fun, many times, can get us into problems. That sin can end up hurting us either us or maybe our friends or our family. And we don't want to hurt our family. We don't want to hurt our friends and we don't want to get hurt either. But sin sometimes can do that. It can hurt us. And it starts out, the devil makes sure when we start out, oh, it's just something little. It's nothing, nothing really big. It's not really that bad. You know, when we say it's not that bad, that means it's bad, but it's not really bad. And that's the way the devil starts us out with sin. It's something that's not very bad. It's just maybe you can't even tell that it's bad at all. But after a while, it's not quite as fun as it was. And we have to do a little more to, to make it more fun. And pretty soon before you know it, we're doing things that are really bad because we thought it was fun. And we don't realize that it could hurt us or it could hurt someone else. And Jesus doesn't want us to get hurt, does he? No, he wants us to be happy. He wants us to have fun, but he wants us to do it in a way that is something that, that he approves of, that he wants us to do. Something that is good, simple fun. And just like rolling those puppies up against the barn, uh, we don't want to do anything that's going to hurt anyone. And so we need to have that connection with Jesus. We need to talk to Jesus every day. We need to make sure that Jesus is telling us, whether it's through the Bible or through our mother or father or through someone that loves us, we want to make sure that we're doing what Jesus wants us to do. And if we're doing what Jesus wants us to do, nobody's going to get hurt. We're not going to get hurt. Our friends, our family, they aren't going to get hurt either because we're following Jesus. So I want you to promise me that you'll pray every day, that you'll talk to Jesus every day, that you'll talk with your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa, and you'll ask them what are good things that you should do and what are things that you shouldn't do. And they will guide you. They will tell you the things, the, the ways to follow Jesus. So promise me that you'll talk to Jesus every day and that you won't roll the puppies up against the barn. Okay? All right. Thank you for listening to my story. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.